Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Darkest Dungeon. The only thing I was thinking before we started this next mission is perhaps with shards, we could buy a shard trinket of some great measure. What on earth does this mean? Plus 40% prot when attacked by husk. I guess uh, husk is a class of enemy. Plus 30% prot when attacked by eldritch. So you could take this out on a mission where you know you're going to be fighting an eldritch enemy. And, or a husk, like maybe the necromancer? Ignores stealth. These are the only three we can afford, by the way. So I expect them to be kind of bad. Plus 15 ack. Let's get up here to the two. Ooh! Remove a card from your uh, deck at campfire. On monster kill, stress minus two. Monster killed, all monsters get a little blight. Ah, but if you get a hero killed, you got real problems. But still, it's... I mean, it seems okay. Or perhaps amazing. Plus 15% max HP, Crusader only. Oh, it gives you a blight on your sword. That's kind of cool. Arbalist only, plus 20% damage. <gasps> plus 20% damage. But a 25% chance of getting a little extra stress. Dude, these are so cool. We need to go out on one of those missions again so we can farm more crystals. I'm just scared, okay? What does endgame condition mean? <laughs> Is this if we don't handle it or if we do handle it? You know, that's where I go to Bear Taffy. I go to the Discord and I go, at Bear Taffy. Hey, dude, what does endgame condition mean on the endless estate? Endless harvest. If Does it mean that negative effects happen if I do it? Or if I don't do it before the end of the game. I don't know. Alright. I've told you many times. I do not know how to read. Don't hold it against me. Marked units. Okay. This is where we want to be. Is By the way, that's not where we're going. We're going on... I think it was this, this one. Yeah, because we wanted the tough ring. It's potentially more useful, although certainly not guaranteed. So... Who do we want to do extra damage against marked units? Anybody except the occultist. For the occultist, we definitely want to give them extra heals. And, um... I mean, there's many options, I suppose. The tough ring is possible. Um... I'm just taking a look at all these. I mean, even just a sun ring is fine, but I think we'd probably be okay going tough ring. Because most of the time, you're going to be healing anyway. And then the Arbalist. Arbalist 7 to 14. Bounty Hunter 8 to 16. I really think the Grave Robber is going to be, well, maybe our second best damage dealer. But I think the Bounty Hunter would be better off doing more damage to marked units. I know they're natural, but... And then, in turn, um, why don't we just give you... The raw damage to begin with. So you're going to be doing a ton of damage, whether marked or otherwise. And then for the Arbalist, extra Ack on range skills. Seems good to me. And then oftentimes we'll use Sniper's Ring. Extra accuracy and crit in position 4. But I kind of like the idea of giving you Dismas Head. But You know what? Let's give you the Sniper's Ring because nobody else can wield it. So effectively at least. And then for the Bounty Hunter. Extra damage. And then extra damage. So we got, like, we're kitted for damage. Let's see if my friend Bear Taffy has responded to me. He's very quick on the draw. He is not... I mean, he might be busy. I don't know. Thank you, phone, for giving me a news alert. News story on Logan Paul. Always giving me stuff I'm interested in. It's a Warren's medium mission. 12 to 18 food. I'll go 16. Shovels 2 to 3. I don't mess around with shovels anymore. Not with real squads. 3 bandages. 0 to 2 anti-venom. You know what? Let's go 1. 3 to 4 medicinal herbs. Wow. Whoops, that's not medicinal herbs. These are medicinal herbs. Let's go 3. I'll go with 2 skeleton keys. Three holy waters. Dude, I'm gonna, just going to be honest with you. Can't fit them. Good for resistances, I guess, suppose. But 
And then 10 to 16 torches. We'll go 12. You know what? Let's go 14. I use a lot of torches. This is a lot of inventory space left over. Is this the way we want to start our squad, by the way? Is it, and make sure they got the right skills equipped. Like, you're on 5. Uppercut is fine, even though Come Hither does move you. We have someone that can target... We have a lot of units that can target backline. So I think we're better off with Uppercut than Come Hither. Maybe? We don't use stuns too often, but... We have something better to do in most situations, I think. You are fully equipped. You got the right stuff. You got the right stuff. You operate okay from this position. Yeah, okay, I think we're good to go. I'm willing to give it a shot. These champion missions, you know, remind yourself... We fought the thing from the stars last time, and we, um... We did okay, I think. We also managed to, uh... Get through that they mission quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. Dude, we might as well start by going this way. But I, I'm I'm not super confident. Usually this is holy water, I imagine. I'm gonna ignore it for now because I'm afraid. Okay, stealth units, suboptimal. Sacrificial stab is decent damage, but vulnerability hex is really where we're gonna want to go early, I think. We should have hit second unit, just... And this is a good practice, I guess, in general, be, so that our uh, sniper shot could hit them as well. Dodges? Lovely. I hate fighting units that do AoE damage when we only have the occultist healer, but... What can you do? Okay, well, he heals himself on his next turn. Really? What's your pro... 25%? I'm... Look, Lizio got the kill and is first in line for a new name. Still a little cheese. That was a great shot, Nick. Nick is just crushing it. Like, I... This guy is, uh... He's legendary. Alright, we got two units. They do relatively weak AoE damage, probably. Impressive. This is pretty, you know, not amazing right now. Um, ooh, I just don't think I'm equal to this task. What happened there? You passed turn. Why? Imposter syndrome? That's got to be a low roll and a half right there. Yeah, like we desperately would like to get this heal. Confidence surges Luckily, Lizio holding it down. I would like to take a turn to heal, please. That's very important. Um, sounds good to me. We're gonna do like a pre-heal, just so the next heal probably heals you more. And I know you're like, why don't you just not heal him? Well, he's still down 13, so I'll heal him yeah, seven. You're not guaranteed a good heal with this guy. I guess is the that's the simple mathematics of it for me. Destroy them. Everybody's good to go. Low HP. That's uh and again, this is gonna happen with the occultists now and then in all likelihood. No books, please. That's fine. Nick is killing it as well. No books, please. Loving. The Arbalist plays so far. This is probably a Holy Water situation. They're surprised, and they're from Dark Souls 2, which means they're going to be no problem. Now, as much as I would love to mark... It's important for us to get some heals out there, I think. And then if a Lunge can get a kill... See, this is a Bolus potential kill here. But I think what I'm going to do... Collect bounty, unlikely to kill. We'll just go for the, the easy money. And then, I guess we'll blind fire. At least we didn't hit the corpse. Probably could have handled that first turn better. Wow, that's horrendous. Um, it's possible a blanket fire could kill Wolf here. Good lord. Um, and then this guy might get to go again. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, thank god. Well, this went wrong, like, so quickly. 
Obviously, you gotta start hitting this guy. And then you just gotta hope this works. That's it's decent enough. Thank you for resisting the bleed, by the way. Uh, you're not interested in eating right now. I don't blame you. It's been a little bit of a harrowing situation. You got one action. What would you do? Probably kill the unit I can hit. <laughs> no blanket fire. Ooh, okay, we're likely to kill you. Thank you, Nicholas. That helps out a great deal. Remind yourself that overconfidence is so and heals in uh, dire need of some heals. Let's be honest, though. Like part, and we're about to have another fight real quick. Um, but part of the reason that things went wrong there is because we got critted. Life goes on. You know, it's possible. There's things we could have done to mitigate it, but you know, when you're playing with the occultists, every run is a dice roll. You're never feeling the heals guaranteed. Ninety. Obviously, you're gonna have 110, and you have the most stress, so that's good. Um, I'm. I don't really want to eat for heals this early, because exactly that could happen. Um, all right, good to go. We got a battle. Easy battle, please. Easy battle. Oh, this does not look like an easy battle. Um, he, you have to heal. You have to heal. That's a good heal. Then, I guess, we can get the guy at the back. That's not a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe do you go for the Flesh Eater first? To me, it seems like you wouldn't, but... What do I know, right? It's a 40% stun chance, which is actually highly tempting. But I'm going to waste the turn doing the mark instead, and I'm a little afraid. That's poor. No bounty hunter is a, a bit of an issue here, I'm just being honest. So I'm realizing Fox Mulder's speed is becoming... Wow. Uh, is becoming a pretty important topic of conversation here. I gotta find a way... I, on your turn, I'm gonna move you. The thing is, Nick's shot... It's worth enough that it... Like, having him spend a turn walking backwards is very dumb, I think. Okay, I, I think things did not go horribly for us on that turn. A heal for 10. Somewhere in that zone where I'm like neither happy nor extremely disappointed. Huge crit. Sucks that we've taken all of our actions so we can't kill him, but it's a start. Incredibly good dodge. This is going so much better than it has any right to. It's not worth marking him. Just move so you can actually attack next round. Alright, I mean, that's damage. Could be worse. He can still operate from back here, I think. Somewhat. It's very tempting to just stab you, but... Good heal. Great heal, even. Oh, singulars! That's what you say. Uh... You gotta do what you gotta do. The bigger the beast, the okay. The I mean, we're actually coming out smelling like a rose right now. Could change. But this this is looking relatively decent in my world. I hate that. A lunge is okay here. Everybody's still in a good position. I think it's worth... We'll use a mark from the bounty hunter, lower your prod to zero. Now the healer can heal on their turn. And I mean, I was just gonna say, we're doing quite a lot of damage. 
You, it really would be helpful for me if you could roll a little higher. I recognize, by the way, I don't want to be ignorant. You did heal yourself for 56 earlier, but... Ooh. Very rare trinket. Um, do we have trash? 500 versus 750? Yes, we do have trash. Everybody in default positions, please. We still got a lot of mission left to handle here. Dude, we gotta take these. Um, I really think we can at least afford to dump... We could probably dump the other skeleton key. And then all of our... All of our anti-venom, because these can be used on heals. And then we'll take the crests. Is someone taking the crest? The crest? The crest? The crest? We're gonna rest at some point, but I definitely do not want to do it yet. Ancient what is this? Wait. Pile of scrolls. And thirsting for blood. Alt tab. Pile of scrolls. Darkest. Di Apparently, I have searched this already. Scout dungeon. Nothing. Gain quirk. Two thirds positive. One third negative. Use torch. The scrolls are full of evil writings. Purge and remove negative quirk. Okay. I'm looking for the worst negative quirks. Dude, fading is pretty bad. Imposter syndrome obviously is causing problems as well. Occasionally, at least. I'm willing to go for the bounty hunter here. Slow reflexes removed. In radiance. In radiance. <laughs> That's more of like a... What was that show? Kablam? On Nickelodeon? Or as we called it in Canada, Le Nickelodeon? In radiance you shall find victory. Carelessness will find... Dude, I would love to not have Nicholas be super weak. He is a god of combat. Um... But I don't really want to camp. Maybe we'll camp here if no room battle. Room battle. No surprise. That it burns me up inside. Alright, well. Healer's got to heal. That's a terrible... That's terrible. That's better. I was starting to get very afraid. Oh, do we get to go? At some point, do we get to take an action? Thank you. Uh, Nicholas needs to be healed. It's something. If we're lucky, that'll absorb one attack. Now... Somebody's got to eat it on this turn. Obviously, I'd like to see this guy eat it. And we could target him with a lot, but this guy... I mean, if we mark him... Well, what's the stun chance? It's possible. If we mark him... We can hit him with everybody. And his protection would go down. If with this guy, we could hit him with everybody. His protection goes down to zero. I think that's better. Well, it goes down to three, I think. No, it goes down to zero, because he's minus 18. All right, please tell me we get some great crits. Oh, Nicholas! He's done it. Don't do it. Rude move. For a man that just came off of a stun, that is a very rude move. One damage is not bad. The stress and disease could be. What's the disease? Hold up. Plus three speed, lower accuracy, and crit. At least it has a positive. I hate that. <laughs> no, please don't. Oh! Yes, attack strong unit. I very much appreciate this. You've given me you've given me hope in an otherwise hopeless world. Heal for ten is fine. That's uh, coming to realize, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Nick's gonna take this shot. I honestly think our next step is like a mark. I mean, we'd like to kill this guy as well, but it's tough. Um, we mark this guy. He can be targeted by everybody. His prot's going to get a lot lower. Nick has to hit, though. Could be worse. We definitely have to rest after this. Love it. Nick killed that guy single-handedly, by the way, in case you didn't notice. That's because he's a god. Okay, you heal yourself this time. 
Oh, that's nasty. That hurts. Um, now, Lunge is kind of tempting here. It puts everybody in acceptable positions. It uses your damage bonus. Good dodge, good dodge. Nicholas! What are you doing? He's ascended to maximum, like, mad lad levels. Okay, we're gonna go for a rare stun. A devastating blow. To try to, like, curtail any stress here and give us an extra turn. Incredible dodges. Nick is the savior of this mission. Wolf's doing decent. You know, it's not his fault he's being stunned. I really feel like we actually mark, as ridiculous as that might seem. Because a bolus will get the kill, and then this guy's slowed down as a well, he's debuffed as a result. 15 is a good heal. Thank you. Thank I mean thank yourself, but also thank you. Little little weak on that one. Life goes on. Good! Okay, everything turned out okay in the end. We obviously want the tapestry. At least promises success. We'll dump uh, anything for it, um, more or less. Certainly the Blight Charm is not worth keeping. And then get rid of the Emerald, because that's worth more right now. Everybody back to positions, rest, eat as much as you can. Close Hopefully we don't have to starve. Blood. You, I am a fool, by the way. Oh, why not use one? We'll probably just end up not using it if we don't. So we need stress relief and camping skills. The only thing, and I keep saying it. The reason I'm not using camping skills as much as maybe I should. Please. That's okay. That's not that bad. Um, the reason I'm not using camping skills maybe or upgrading them is because gold has been a problem. But we're, we're coming to the point where there's no excuse for it. And we're probably well past the point that there's no excuse for it. Um, this is how yeah, buff yourself and buff, uh, Nicholas buffs himself as well. Produce a random item. Yeah, why not? No ambush would be ideal, but we didn't have the option. Okay, it's an ambush. This is, these are weak enemies, relatively speaking. And you know what? We have a party that's very resistant to, I mean, they move on occasion. That Wow, 39 stress. Um... I think that's a death's door situation. They move, but they work in most configurations. The bounty hunter is bad at the back. Everybody else mostly works in most of these uh, situations. Can you, by the way, shut these guys up? I think you gotta focus on making sure this guy goes. Now, if Sniper goes first, well, after this guy. Um, if Sniper goes first, we have a different plan. Okay, so he's going to sniper shot, bounty hunter's going to mark. Because you know, I was just going to say, he's hidden. Please stop screaming. It's alright. We kind of did this wrong. Um, you still, what can you do from the third slot? Because you've been mixed up just a little. You can collect, you can finish him, that's all you need. So I'm gonna lunge and go for the, go for the gold. Bolus could possibly pick up two kills if our bounty hunter really screws it up. Wait, finish him is more damage against stunned, not against marked. I am an absolute fool. Literated. I've been using finish him on marked units probably for like six missions in a row. <laughs> He laughs to hide the pain. Um, great heal. A little bit low on HP, high on stress on our bounty hunter. Everybody else is fine. Rubus, very good. Very good. Brought low and driven into the mud. Ah, that's good scouting. Good scouting. Well, we'll go low. We have to do one battle either way. This path saves us a shovel. Oh, this is, like, extremely terrible. Um, we'll try to kill the Skiver first. It's very unfortunate that we have, uh... 
the sniper acting first, but 16 damage is nothing to sneeze at. You Okay, well, let's think about it. I think we can kill this guy even if we go for a heal. But would we rather, like, guarantee it? Probably. But then what's your HP? 31, 24, 33, 33. Here's why I went for the damage. I don't trust the occultist to land the shot properly. The heal properly, I should say. Now, I'd really like you to do 14 damage. Freak. And I can't hit you with, you with that, but I can hit you with this. Oh, thank God. This guy can still cause us problems. We're actually, I would consider ourselves lucky that he's going for stress. I think you just start wailing on this fool. His speed is high. He's probably going to get the go soon. Okay, we healed for 21. It's very good. A mark is also, I would say, an appropriate action there. But, you know, you've only got one healer. You got two markers. That's really bad. No stun, please. It's a shame because he's a good damage dealer, among other things. He has a heal as well. All I want is for our healer to go before uh, he attacks. I'll take it. Alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. So too nah, nah, will nah. resistance. We got no citron, no neo citron in our inventory. Nothing to fear. The way oh. is lit. The path is clear. Thank you. We require only the I'm just cracking it right it. away. All right, so that was our combat. We got one more combat in the curio room. We may or may not have more rooms after that. Please, food would be ideal right now. Map, um, slow down. Okay, we have to do all rooms, except the room just directly north of us. That's okay, but I'm worried about Nicholas's HP. These units, uh, I, if I remember correctly, they're not that high damage. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't pass your turn. Okay, well, I mean, you take the good with the bad, I suppose. That's best way to think about it. Now, Nick can heal himself, but I think you got to be more content to try something like that. This is very great for us right now. Highly, insanely great. And I'm proud of this squad. You know, we got into... We got a death's door early. That's always annoying. The uppercut is kind of tempting me here, but... I, I really... I'm starting to come around to the bounty hunter taking one turn to mark for the benefit of all other party members. Followed by... Um, I mean, the, the fact that it lowers their protection really, like, mathematically puts it into perspective for me. He had minus 40% damage and he still did that. Well, this is... that's okay. Um, we're about to have combat again immediately. Thing is, like, I really want Nick to be able to heal. This is a great surprise. Now, the dude at the front is easy to kill, but if we can kill the dude at the back... Would be extremely great for us. I do worry about Nicholas still to this day. Nine to eighteen. That's. I think that's when you pop the lunge. Like this is a critical turn for us. You need to do twenty-nine damage to him. I think you go for the heal. I regret everything. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks so much for your help. Yep. And if you had stabbed him, he would be super dead. Instead, well, at least he's punishing the unit that deserves to be punished the most. Yeah, I mean, Mulder, you've been on us. You, you were briefly and made... Oh, oh he's alive. Um, you're perhaps our highest leveled healer. And you're really, like, you're making me hate you right now. So what does that say about your actions? Yeah, you're right. It says you're a jerk. Thank you. I wasn't trying to give you tough love motivation. I'm just, you're acting like a bit of a, a D-head right now. You know what I mean? So, I, as easy as this guy is to kill, 
I think this guy's got to go first. Because it gives Nick a good turn to shoot him next. Now, he probably won't kill him, but... No stuns. No stuns. Nice. Don't get me wrong, I'd like this guy to die, too. Alright, Nick kind of... I wouldn't say he dropped the ball and the chain, but he did... Um, he could have done better, let's put it that way. Let's put him in, like... Guaranteed you suck range, which uh, is a scientific term for he's dead. Now we used finish him just because it was the only thing that targeted him. That one wasn't a mistake for once. And we got we got a free turn. Um, reconstruct yourself. Yeah, put your own oxygen mask on first. Honestly, take a little time here for yourself. This guy is a weak enemy. If we can stall, it's good for business. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Let's go! Always leave the battle better than you found it. A trifling victory. Get rid of this trash. Take this trash. Alright, no combat. See you later. <laughs> no combat until the next room, I think. Correct? We do have a trap coming up. Dude, this squad can get it done. We did have a Death's Door. As much as I want to say, like, oh, we got lucky, Death's Door wasn't worse. And we did. We also got unlucky that, you know, that we hit that super nasty crit on turn one anyway. Alright, this seems like a pretty basic squad. It would be nice to handle stress. Let's not get cocky, but... So right off the bat, um... Let's go for number three. It gives Nick a shot. It hurts, but, you know. Even just taking out one unit is worth something. Yep, I can live with it. I would prefer if you didn't stun. I'd prefer if you dodged. Ooh, you're gonna be a little disease-ridden. <laughs> the red plague. You got, you're gonna be out of commission for two weeks. Oh, we dodged one while I was looking there, but... Yeah, because we got to treat diseases and probably stress. You might be out of commission for three weeks. But I appreciate your incredibly useful crits over the course of these missions regardless. That's very, very nice of you. At this point, your boy considers that it is unnecessary to heal because this is our final uh, battle. of skill and purpose. You got that right. Ah, no, no, we're good. We don't have bandages, but... So, Collect Bounty got real close to making it work. Let's put it that way, so... Ooh, you know what? We'll finish you off with a lunge, just to make sure you don't get a chance to attack. And now, it's all about this guy, so... His prod is way higher than I ever would have expected. I really don't want him to attack me. Like, we could we could have a problem here. Luckily, I would consider that bad targeting. This seems good. Lovely. Alright, uh... Well, here's the thing. Creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Can we fit gold? No. Um, just continue to eat. Ended up having way too many shovels. We're done, but we're gonna continue adventuring. We're gonna snuff torch. Terrors may indeed Open this. Shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Get rid of the herbs. Get rid of the sh torches. Dude, good mission. That was the probably the strongest I felt about a mission in a little in the in the last three that we've done for sure. Decent amount of gold. Lizia gets robust. Fox Mulder. Calm is not bad at all. The egg. That seems very not good. Fear of unholy. Replace lazy eye though. Might be okay. Fragile. Ugh. Normal trinkets cost fifty percent. Sure, is no um, but we we got we got financial issues. For one, Wolf 
right off the bat, has some serious diseases. I really hate lowered accuracy. I hate missing more than anything else in this game. Fox Mulder, same situation. We could wait till it's free, but... Then Kate... Hemophilia, I really don't consider that bad, because we're never taking her with an occultist. And then Bear has tetanus. And we have to upgrade Bear. Are we due for, like, maybe an intermediate mission to get a bunch of gold? Short intermediate mission. It's not good to take a. Well, it's not ideal practice to take an occultist on a, or a, an antiquarian on a medium length mission, but it is what it is. We'll see. Um, I want to. I just want to make sure we have a squad here. We need a healer, which we do not have. How much do these guys cost? Do they do they cost anything? Do they cost six? I don't understand. Anyway, these are the this is the squad we're gonna take with us to the. Well, th these guys are the level that we're gonna take with us, I should say. Um, what do we want to do? Well, next time, uh, once we've gotten all of our, you know, level fives to a good spot on their abilities and their armor, we can then invest in camping skills. I might have the flowchart wrong. I apologize. Those are terrible. These are not half price. Which, you know, it's not like they lied to me. They said normal trinkets. Our level 4 squad is just, like, so weak. Huey Lewis in the news. A healer. You know, a stress healer. We'll figure it out. We might want to do some quirk meta. The thing is, we also want to upgrade Bear Tabby. So, you know what? I'm going to commit... Because the, the masses are ornery. I'm going to commit to upgrading our friend Bear Taffy. And I'm, I think I'm going to give him, like, Blight abilities. So that he can actually do some damage. Buff the entire party's dodges. We don't need to buff that yet, I think. And then he's 4-4, four, four, which is fine. All right, so we'll probably take him on a mission, and we'll, we'll do some gold farming next time. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps us a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!